Guys, how's it going? Welcome to my, to my video. Um, I did this video um, on this mini cat catalytic converter that I bought off of eBay yesterday. It was a long, long video, but when I uploaded, when I was um, using the editor, uh, the film editor, I left that part out, which is like the whole entire part of it. So the last, the last one you saw was uh, the end of it. The, the 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 end of that video but so I'm gonna redo this review of it this is a Calactic a mini it's called it was described as a mini Calactic converter that I bought off of eBay for like 14 bucks I think it was fairly inexpensive all right so what the way it is is it's supposed to be a mini cat converter I did not I did not see too many reviews of this particular uh, this particular part uh, I, if you guys are trying to get rid of a code, see, this is what's inside. It, I don't know what this is made of. Copper or something like that. Probably some kind of calcium material that the cats are made of. I'm not sure. Um, but uh, I didn't see too many reviews of this particular um, part. I've seen reviews of the of the spark plug extensions where people are drilling out holes or they're just using the 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 the, the smallest hole and 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 you know using an extension, putting the O2 sensor on top of that. If you guys are looking for help with any kind of O2 codes that you guys are getting, I'm pretty sure you guys have bumped into those videos because those are pretty popular as far as as far as 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 fixing those codes etc etc temporarily maybe maybe for a while for a long while I, I don't know but here's the thing all right this is a little bit different uh it, it's got a mini kind of honeycomb thing inside of it um now um i had an o2 issue with the o2 sensor bank 2 sensor 2 kept on popping up um it was sporadic at times when i first got this car for a good i don't know seven months it was sporadic i was able to delete it it went through all the sensors all the monitors cleared etc etc but lately maybe for the last four or five months uh it's doing something different where the code kept on popping up and uh, every time I deleted it it, 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 it kept on popping up faster to the point where I deleted the next, uh, you know, maybe like 10 miles, whatever that I drive, it pops up again. So I knew something had to change. All right. Now, originally when that issue happened, um, I was using, you know, one of those, one, you know, one of these kind of like a spark plug thing. I'm not sure exactly what the correct name for it is, but I was using one of those. It didn't really do much uh, as far as clearing it, clearing the coat, and and um, I actually doubled up on it. I, I I put two of them up, which which when I looked at the pipe, they actually on on this car somebody actually did had had that had that issue, so they actually doubled up on the pipe. All right, doubled up on on two of these, like one, two, and then put, but not these particular. You know, this is the spark plug ones without any of the uh, honeycomb, whatever it is inside. The the nor the regular ones that you watch in the videos. They doubled up on it, and then they put the O2 uh, sensor on top of that. And uh, you know, I, I I did that, tried that out for a little while, did not do anything as far as as fixing the error code. So what I did was um, I did a, a video on the Calix converter that I actually tried to remove and and replace. I did actually remove it. I can replace it because the the one that they sent me was not OEM and the angle of it was was off. Um, I did a video on that. Um, good thing because I paid like three fifty for it and uh, I, I I didn't need it. I didn't need it because you guys are here for the review of this, whether this works with whether whether this worked or not. So I'm gonna give you the lowdown on this. I'm gonna give you the lowdown on this. This thing, um, you know, when when I had the the regular spark plug extensions on there, uh, you know, it the code immediately went to uh, to 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 the error code. The check engine light popped up after about 10 miles of driving. Now, after I put this in, 
uh, instead of that, it, it went to pending, you know, it, you know, so I, obviously from that, you know, it, it went to pending and then I drove for a day and then the, the check engine light popped up. But obviously because of that, you know, this actually does have an effect. But I will say that, that, that my pipe, my pipe, um, had an issue where, um, you know, there was, there were two of the spark plugs extensions. I removed one and the, the, the one that was connected to the pipe. Now, I wasn't 100% sure what the deal with that was. I thought it was, I, I thought it was a second extension, but it was very rusted. So I took, I, I took a wrench and, and took a socket to it. The top of it broke off. The, the top piece broke off. And I thought, looking at it, I thought that that was just the way, that was, that was an extension of the pipe that was welded onto the pipe. So for the last, a couple of months, I've been trying to a weld that the 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 tip of it on back on. I've been trying to use, uh, uh, you know, putty on it. I've been trying to use, you know, um, a lot of different things on it because I thought that that was, you know, I went as far as buying a new pipe, but, uh, you know, I actually did thought I thought to myself, you know, instead of buying a new pipe, why don't I just use a a uh, spark plug rethreader. I use a spark plug rethreader on there, and threads came off. Threads came off, and I realized after cutting, you know, the piece, part of the piece off, trying to rethread it, that the threads came off, and it was another. I spent two months with 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 going back and forth trying to weld it, etc., etc. It it came back, you know, it it, it got when I took the threads off, I realized that it was just the second extension and that, you know, the threads under there were the real threads to the pipe. But, 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 but long story short, right? <laughs> long story short. But, um, you know, I, uh, you know, after that happened, I, I put, uh, an extension, a brand new extension, uh, spark plug extension on there. I put this on top of the extension and then I put uh, a brand new, a brand new, um, uh, what you call it, uh, O2 sensor. And you guys gotta probably get a brand new O2 sensor because you guys don't know whether the O2 sensor is malfunctioning or, you know, whether whether it's the cat. A lot, most of the time, it's probably the O2 sensor malfunctioning. But if you guys get a brand new O2 sensor, which is what I did, and you guys couldn't clear the code, uh, there's a good chance that it's probably something else. Maybe the uh, maybe the character converter. Maybe you know. Long story short, right, guys. So let me let me just go on with with this whole entire story. Since you guys are here anyway, I'm sure you guys are looking to pass inspection, uh, emissions, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You guys are probably gonna know want to know this whole entire story. So stay with me on this. Um, okay. So originally, when this issue happened. Because this is this is absolutely related to this, okay? I use Cataclean. I'm sure you guys use that. I've used Cataclean on it, and I also did the other method where I put a uh, 100% pure lacquer cleaner on in in you know one gallon to half a gallon of gas. Drove that, drove that uh, for hours and hours until my gas almost went empty and I ran out of space to drive. That didn't work. That didn't work for my issue. It didn't work for my issue. So I, I actually bought a uh, a brand new um, a brand new O2 sensor. I bought a brand new O2 sensor. I put the O2 sensor uh, in. But here's the problem that I had was I actually broke off that piece from the pipe. That was actually just an extension of you know a spark plug extension, and I, I didn't know it the whole entire time at that time that it was. A, a spark plug extension. I thought it was part of the pipe itself. Trying to weld it on, etc., etc., um, and uh, none of that worked until I actually was able to try to rethread it. But when I rethreaded, the the threads from the from the uh, spark plug extension came off. Long story short, um, you know, it it revealed the real threads to the pipe. And I was able to put the the spark plug extension on, and this on, and this on. Long story short, guys. <laughs> um, I I you know the the I cleared the codes after I I put this on. I cleared the codes, drove it. A couple of days later, no check engine light. Um, 
no check engine light and uh, took it to uh, inspection, passed emissions, passed, passed, uh, did, did the OBD2 reader, made, made sure that uh, there's no codes, they cleared all the monitors, no codes, etc, etc. Now, could I be 100% sure that this, this helped? Well, I know for a fact that this actually did uh, did do something as far as you know, uh, you know, in, in, instead of having the, the you know the, the the sensor pick up the O2 imbalance in, uh, in in ratio of air and gas, you know, or whatever that ratio is, um, it actually went to pending. So I know for a fact in, in, that this actually does a better job, or, or actually has an effect on the readings. I know that for a fact it had an effect on our reading, but I can't tell you 100% whether this will clear 100% whatever issue you have. Considering I had issues with the pipe when um, when 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 I was using, you know, a combination of this and and the spark plug extension. But but I will say that this will have an effect. Uh, it did have an effect. It's a uh, thirteen. It's this is like thirteen, fourteen, fifteen dollars, whatever. You probably get it cheaper on eBay, Amazon. Um, what else? What else? Um, if you guys, if you guys have your own, because I didn't see too many reviews of this. I did not see too many reviews of this, and I was surprised I didn't see too many reviews of this. But apparently, a lot of people are using the extension, the spark plug extensions, and it actually worked for them. That's, or maybe this is brand new. I'm not sure, you know. But, but, but uh, I didn't see too many, too many uh, reviews of this particular one, this particular piece. I'm surprised because, um, you know, well. I'm not surprised because this is this is this was my last thing when I went on eBay to buy it because I I you know I didn't see too many reviews of this I was using the regular spark plug uh, extensions but if you guys use the spark plug extensions and those didn't work try this okay it's 13 bucks it'll probably be a lot it, it, I know for a fact it's gonna be a lot cheaper than you guys going out and getting a cat replaced or you know whatever labor it is to the cat off and try to clean it. You know, you know, there's a way to clean the cat, right? You guys take the cat off, dump it in a bucket of water and and dish water soap or whatever overnight. <laughs> I watched a video on that and uh, and and put it back. But but the cat that I had, the guy replaced it uh, recently enough because, you know, the guy who I bought this car from replaced it recently enough because when I took it off, it looked pretty clean to me. I mean, the the tail end of it looked like it was. It was very, very, very clean. So I'm glad it's that. You know, I'm glad I was able to return that cat, and 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 the cat actually had an issue. So the brand new one that they sent me had a bad angle on it, and uh, I was able to return that and and not have to spend money on that. Good thing about that. But if you guys have any comments as far as this concern, your own personal. Uh, experiences with this let me know I know there are not a lot of videos up on this don't know why I guess this you know there should be a lot of videos up on this because this is the next this is the next thing up as far as you know if you guys use that extent though those spark plug extensions and it doesn't work I guess this would be the next step up you know using it with a brand new O2 sensor <clears throat> but all in all that's the video and that that whole little cat thing is is uh, you can take it out. It's it, it's it's separate. I don't know what it's made of. I didn't ask. But um, hope 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 you guys uh, pass inspection emissions or whatever with this on. Oh, uh, I was gonna say. I was gonna say. Um, if like I know I've read somewhere that that some of these places, some of these rip off garages emissions, it's all BS anyway. It's all it's all garbage, uh, you know. You go you go into the emissions thing, and they, they want your money. They want your money, guys. All right. They'll 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 say your tires are bad when when you when when they're all right. They'll say this is bad, and, and you know it'll cost you like two thousand dollars worth of whatever. But some of these places, you know, if you if you get into one, to one of these garages where you know they'll look at this and say you know you can't have this on there, I'd advise you guys to to if this works, to uh, try drive it. Uh, with this until all the monitors clear and you guys don't have a check engine light take this off 
you know, pop, 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 pop the O2 sensor back on and have them do the whole inspection without this on. Like drive it like a block away from the inspection site, you know, and uh, you have them doing the inspection with this off and, and with you guys putting the, the O2 sensor on there. And then, you know, after that's done, you guys can pop this back on, you know, to, to keep the check engine light off if you guys want. That's, you know, but uh, inspections, guys, um, hate, 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 hate inspections. It's, it's probably like every time somebody comes in for an inspection, it's like they look at you as like, like an ATM machine for, for stuff that you don't need. So, but um, um, all in all, I just want to give you guys, uh, uh, you, know, you know, thanks for watching this video. Please give me a thumbs up. Please uh, subscribe, subscribe, thumbs up, and uh, if you guys have a comment on this, leave leave your comments on this. Like, like whether this has helped you guys out or not. Uh, for me, it's thirteen dollars. It's real cheap. Um, it, it's cheaper than anything that 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 you're gonna try to get to fix the issue, guys. Worth a try. Worth a try. And and it actually did have an effect on my O2 readings uh, when I used it. And at this point. My check engine light is off my car. I don't have any codes, no O2 codes at all. Um, and uh, I'm real happy at this point. So try it out, guys. All right. Take care.